Hi again guys, so this is me leaving Punta Arenas to get to Rio Grande which is basically just another point stop to get to um, Ushuaia. It's a pretty bit miserable uh, old day again. I, I I probably had about an hour of riding that wasn't where it wasn't raining. It, pretty, it rained all the way to the ferry and uh, and then also to the border. Um, it's there, but um, it's uh, yeah, it was a pretty painful day. It was pretty pretty cold, and uh, just big storms came through. And basically, uh, I wasn't really wet because my climb gear really protects me pretty well. But around in the neck area, and then you end up getting some uh, water inside the helmet and around the neck. Uh, brace the helmet and so it, it can it, it got pretty annoying. So the trip today was there was two stages basically. One was to get to the ferry and it was pouring with rain when I got to the ferry so I parked my bike and the ferry wasn't hadn't arrived yet and uh, there's a cafe right up to the right hand side and I went in there and had some absolute sensational sandwiches. And then um, from there um, I just waited for the ferry. Once the ferry got, I pretty much got was one of the first on the ferry. They waved the bike up the front. The, the, you pay for the ferry when you get on the ferry. Um, it's like about six US dollars uh, to get across. Uh, there, there's a little pay station there on the right hand side. You don't you don't leave the deck at all. You can go up above and, and have a bit of a look. That's the cafe. A really really nice cafe. There's a the ferry right in the background. There was really cheap food, but the cheese was nice. Um, and then from there, I had to ride. Um, to the border and uh, it, it's pretty painful to stuff this but the border crossings are pretty easy you've just got to make sure well, I'm Australian so I have to get a tourist card I think everyone has to get a tourist card but any uh, US uh, citizens also have to pay a reci reciprocity fee a reciprocity I always get the word I just can't say it um, and they, uh, yeah they've got to pay like an extra $160 but it gets you there for, I think, 90, 150 days. Um, so it was really strange because there's all different roads. Like this is a nice road and then it got to dirt again and then it was a nice road and then dirt and then basically all the way, the last part into uh, Rio Grande was uh, Rio Grande was, uh, was paved. But it was raining all the way in there as well. So uh, it was pretty slow. Just remember, especially on days like this because I have I have all my copies of my paperwork in my bags and then on my backpack I have my originals in a waterproof uh, satchel and I have uh, my copies in a waterproof satchel so you just don't ever want to get them wet because if you get them wet even at one border it can it, they can then stick to other bits of paper and then you're all in all sorts of trouble so you've really got to be you really got to be protective of all your paperwork all the way through um, I laminated uh, a couple of copies of my thing, but they didn't want that. You know, they didn't like that idea. So laminating might be a good idea for you, but don't do it um, because they start questioning whether it's original. And I think they get it from the feel of the paper that they know. So um, yeah, just make sure you keep all your paperwork and, and be protected. It, it was just two stations stop. The previous station was all in one in one stop, so it was easy. Um, but this one you had to go to one and then you rode about 10, 10 or 12 miles to the Argentinian side and then did the process there. That one took a little bit longer because it's a, there was a bus load of people in front of me and then it's a dirt road for probably about 20, 30 miles. A uh, pretty crappy dirt road with lots of potholes. A very, very wide dirt road uh, but not much fun to ride with a bike. It's just pothole after pothole and it was bouncing around everywhere. Um, but it wasn't a bad day. It's all about Ushuaia now and I'm so close and I just hope, at this stage I was just hoping I wasn't going to get really bad weather because I was going to be staying there for three or four days in Ushuaia uh, and ma then making my way back to Buenos Aires. So yeah, so I had some patches where it didn't rain which was, which was cool but uh, most of the day was pretty miserable for me. Um, but that's all part of it. I mean, I, you know, over the six months I'd had, that's where you get the ferry there, the cafes there on the right. Over the six months I had 
very few wet riding days. Less than less than ten. There's, here's the state of the road out of there. It was pretty bad, like just with all the potholes, just those little potholes just everywhere, just makes the bike bounce a lot, you know, if you go fairly fast. You know, but you can sit on 60, 80 kilometers an hour, no problems on that. Yeah. Alright guys, any questions or comments below, thank you.